Deb's communication um, from my vantage point um, is one of the biggest weaknesses of the current administration. What's your yeah. view? It's, look, I, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about this question, what's gone wrong, what's going wrong. A communication is just a symptom, I think. It's, mm. it's a symptom of something that's fundamentally not right. And I think I've, I, I've got an idea of what it is that's, that's, that, that's gone wrong. And I, I know people will, um, will disagree, and I'm sure that this section of this interview <laughs> will be much talked over and yeah. maybe even <coughs> generate what Mtuli called exciting headlines and so on. <laughs> but... Um, I think what fundamentally went wrong was that this was a very quick transition, mm. right? So uh, currently the government is not on a strong ideological footing. They're trying to find their way. They're trying to find out who they are as a government, you know. And everything that they have planned and that they've agreed on, whether it's Vision 2030 or this, it's all patched on, right? And it's coming top down without any real buy-in from, from everyone. I actually learned with uh, something of a shock that uh, there apparently hasn't been any cabinet retreat or of any kind, you know. If, for instance, you know, my field is investment and trade. If, for instance, your new policy, your new ideological thrust mm. is to open up your country to investment, right, you have to understand that you can't be open for business without also being an open society. Mm. It's not possible. Mm. You cannot be open for business and you have police beating people on the streets. Because those messages, whether you like it or not, mm. will be linked to your open for business mm. uh, 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 approach. And people will be asking, what country is open for business that projects itself as a place where people can be thumped and beaten? Why is that happening? Why the contradiction? We open for business. Mm -hmm. But you're not an open society. Mm. You're beating up people and, and so forth. Explain that to us. Why is that happening? Why is that uh, uh, serious contradiction between what government says, what the president says, and what happens on the ground? That's exactly what I was saying earlier, that I think there's a, there's a misunderstanding that this new ideological thrust has to come with some pain and some sacrifices, mm. right? So, and it has to come with real change, right? Real change in terms of the way we were doing things in the past, right? So if you want to be open for business, genuinely, Trevor, you have to be an open society, which means you cannot have police brutality, right? You cannot have soldiers shooting people in broad daylight, right? And, and to me, this seems so obvious, but I think there's a disconnect in government and a failure to understand that what you do domestically has a real impact on what you do uh, in terms of your foreign policy. Everything is connected. So this idea, this separation of this is foreign policy, this is uh, you know, uh, a home affairs business, this is, uh, it, it doesn't work anymore.